Thanks for joining me again. We're going to have a look at automating the data entry on a tax return. So we'll open again a brand new tax return. You can see on the right, the summary is empty. And I'll just open the business income worksheet to show you that that's clear, because we're going to use the XPA button up the top there to import data into the business income worksheet. One thing to check is to go to the central console and the XPA ledgers band in the company that you're in. And there's a ledger list. So it's showing me that I have quite a few different XPA ledgers attached to this client. You can right click and link a file, choose from your list, and link any of your ledgers directly to your client that way. It has to be in edit mode. Now you can see the extra ones shown up. So if I go back to the return here, expand all these sections, you can see it's empty currently. Now the XBA button up the top allows me to pop up a list here of linked ledgers for the correct year of this return. So I'm going to choose the livestock to import and it's going to create the business income worksheet and we can see the totals adding up here as it actually imports the data into the return. It'll notify me once it's all done. There we go. So we can see now that it's pre-filled and pre-populated some of my segments that were previously empty. And there is an XBA blue symbol beside every part that's come in. If I want to change that, I can click in there and change what it has imported and override it. And as soon as I click in that space, you can see the symbol goes away because it knows it's not true data from XBA and could have been altered. We'll expand all these and see if we have any more XPA data that's flown through. So if I want to refresh the data, I can do that by using the drop down arrow and override in case a return's already created and there's some data in there we don't know what's from XPA and what's been manually entered. I'm going to refresh. It deletes everything from the business income worksheet and puts in a uh, brand new version from the ledger. So it's counting up again in our summary page. And if I go back to the same section I was in, we can see now that it's returned my $100 and my 93 and it has a symbol on there. In my breadcrumb up the top where I can add new worksheets, what we're going to do is go and select another. So 2018 company trade from a different ledger and I get the option to override my primary worksheet or create a brand new one. So when I say yes to this, it's going to count up in my summary and it's going to add to my overall total in my company return. So in my trading account, 50,000 there. And now it says business two up the top there. I can switch between each ledger that I've imported. Thank you very much.